We are starting our new unit. Unit 5 is going to be on triangle properties. We're going to start with just the basic parts of the triangle. So the first thing is the triangle inequality theorem that says that if the sum of any two sides of the triangle must be greater than the third side. So we're trying to determine that any two sides that we're going to look at, they have to be greater than that, that third side. So looking at these points, we want to determine, does it form a triangle or not with the three sides that we're provided with? Now we're told that two sides have to be added to be greater than the third. So these two sides of 4 and 6, when I add them together, they have to be greater than 9. And 10 is greater than 9, so that's good. We look at these two sides, 6 and 9, have to be greater than the third side of 4, and 15 is greater than 4, so we're good there. And then the other two, 4 and 9, 4 and 9 together have to be greater than the third side of 6, and 13 is greater than 6, so the answer to this one is going to be yes. With these three pieces, I can form a triangle because any two set sides that I choose, no matter what, will always add to be greater than the third. And that's our only requirement right now in order to have a triangle. So 5, 7, and 12. Again, we start with two sides. Two sides have to be greater than the third side. 5 plus 7 has to be greater than 12. 5 and 7 is 12. So is 12 greater than 12? No. 12 is equal to 12 but it's not greater than 12. That's not going to fit our requirements. So these three points are not going to form a triangle. Sometimes I'm going to just give you two sides of the triangle and we have to figure out the third side. Now there's not going to be just one right answer. We're going to have a range of answers. And we've talked about ranges before when we had our angles. We wanted to know the angle range that x had to be to make an angle obtuse or acute. So I know that I have sides 10 and 14. We have some mysterious side x. We want to find out what range of values of x is going to form an actual triangle. We use our inequality theorem that two sides have to be greater than the third. So whatever x is, 10 and 14, those two numbers have to add to be greater than x. 10 and x, oops, 10 and x together have to be greater than 14, and 14 and x has to be greater than 10. So these are my three different ways, the three different inequalities that I can write. Choosing any two sides has to be greater than the third. So 10 and 14 is 24 is greater than x. That means that x has to be less than 24. We move our 10 over x has to be greater than 4. If I move my 14 over, x has to be greater than a negative 4. Now we know that x has to be greater than a negative 4 because our side length can't be negative. So it has to be less than 24 and greater than 4. So the possible range of values, all of my x values, those side lengths, have to be between 4 and 24. It can't be 4 and it can't be 24, but it can be any number inside. So it could be 6, it could be 10, it could be 13, it could be 20. Any number between 4 and 24 is going to create a triangle. If it's any number outside of that range, then it's not going to fit that bill of two sides have to be greater than the third. All right, our next problem here. Given the diagram, how are the angles and side lengths related? What I want you to do right now is I want you to push pause Take a couple minutes and think about how the angles and the sides are related to each other. When you've come up with an idea, go ahead and push play and see if you are correct. All right, let's see what you figured out. I'm looking at my angles. This is 37, 53, and the right angle is 90. My sides are 3, 4, and 5. I notice that 3 is the smallest, 37 is the smallest angle, and across from 37 is 3, which happens to be the smallest side out of all of them. Then we see 53, 53 is the next smallest angle, and that's across from 
the next smallest side. Last, we have 90. 90 is the biggest angle and it's across from the biggest side. So the smallest side is going to be across from the smallest angle, or the smallest angle is going to be across from the smallest side. Which is going to bring us to our next little notes to make. In a triangle, the smallest angle is across from the shortest side. And the largest angle is across from the longest side. The next net is the next bullet point is just going to be everything in reverse. So the smallest angles across from the smallest side. If I have the shortest side, that's going to be across from the smallest angle. So it's just the converse of our last statement, and the longest side is going to be across from the largest angle. So let's go ahead and use this idea. We want to list the angles in order from smallest to largest. Notice in my diagram, I don't have any angle measures given to me. So I have to still order these angle measures from smallest to largest using my side lengths. We know that the smallest angle is across from the smallest side. So I look at my three side lengths. The smallest side is 9. 9 is across from A, therefore angle A is the smallest angle. Then we look for the next smallest, which is 31. 31 is across from B, so the next smallest angle is B. And last, we have angle C, or sorry, 98, that's the largest side. The largest side is across from the largest angle, which is angle C. So the order of my angles from smallest to largest is A, B, C, and that's all based on the side lengths. Doing the opposite of that, we're going to order our sides from largest to smallest based on the angle measures. So I'm putting the sides in order based on the angles. I want the largest. Well, the largest side is going to be across from the largest angle. So I find my largest angle out of the three, which is 79. The largest angle is across from the largest side. Here comes unit one with our notation. I am referencing this segment BC. So the smallest side is segment BC. Then the next largest is 58, and 58 is across from AB. So AB is the next largest side. And last is angle 43. That's the smallest angle. The smallest angle is across from the smallest side, which is AC. All right, and that is all for our video today.